Yeah, all right, welcome to a new video. Um, I'll be doing something slightly different today. I'll be doing a couple of three minute games on uh, ICC. I just noticed that I haven't played any here, so I'm curious with what rating I will start actually. I should be. Um, should be pretty basic rating and I'll um, do a couple of game games started. I'll do a couple of games in this video not just one game okay let's start out 1e4 and let's see um, what happens uh, Philidor defense let's see what black does he takes on d4 this is um, an interesting line for black actually it's um, pretty solid, it's a bit passive, but um, it can be um, be, um, be quite sharp if white castles long and black short. Okay, I'll be going for long castling here. Okay, he avoided the exchange on d4, maybe he wants to play c5. I want to be ready to go here. Don't want to retreat the knight. Okay, now <clears throat> he maybe intends to to play something like b5. I want to um, secure the a2 pawn and also maybe threaten knight d5. Knight d5. Yeah, I could go knight d5 now. Knight d5, queen takes, would, I would have the intermediate check here. <coughs> this was also an idea of king b1, that this is not a check on d2. So he needs to retreat now to... Oops. I'm not sure if this was an oversight or a real sacrifice. <laughs> Black resigns. Okay, he didn't, um, he didn't see this. Sometimes <coughs> this kind of um, sacrifice even is an idea. I could take f4 now, it would have two pieces. <clears throat> it should be um, enough here really because the f4 knight doesn't have a decent retreat, retreat square. So maybe I can just play queen d2, attack it, and it doesn't have any good square. It needs to yeah, maybe go back to h5 or he could play bishop g5, this, but this could easily be a self-pin. Um, okay, um, the next game, I don't have... I have a button here. Okay. Oh, I gained 385 rating points <laughs> with this uh, with this game from 1600 to 19, 1985. It um, it's always really dynamic in the first couple of games. So let's see <clears throat> what's coming up next. And I hope uh, I'm not waiting too long. It's maybe not um, the ideal time to game to started. play games. Okay, opponent is called Bruns from Sweden. Okay, we've got a Karo Khan. And I play f3, the fantasy variation. I'm not quite sure why it's called the fantasy variation. <laughs> but uh, it leads to interesting play. Okay, need to cover here. Or maybe he can take now and give this check. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really an expert. I just saw um, recently a couple of games with this line and thought it uh, it looked interesting. Okay, now I can, I think, just develop with f4 to come. And this is very similar now to a French defense. Only difference is um, I've got the knight on e2 and not on f3. Otherwise, this would be almost... Um, Identical to a typical um, French main line. If he takes on d4 now, knight takes, we would uh, again have a French position. Okay, it's a French type position anyway, but really um, almost like um, a pure transposition. Okay, it seems to um, prepare b5. Yeah, not quite sure how to develop here. I could take, of course. Yeah, okay, let's take here. I don't see any other way to get my bishop developed. So take here and knight d4 next. It's not ideal, but 
like mentioned, how, how else do, do I get my bishop into play? You can sometimes play g3, bishop h3, or a g, g3, bishop g2, but um, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a good plan here. So now I can um, just simply develop. Yeah, okay, this um, was designed to um, allow b5. Now it's an interesting question if I should go b4. Yeah, well, I like this idea. Now he either has to retreat uh, passively or play knight a4. Yeah, I think he should play knight a4, really. <clears throat> but then it's an interesting question if I should take. Ah, okay. Okay, this was uh, a square as well, of course. Okay. Okay, this move I need to play anyway at some point. Stabilize here the bishop, and he um, intends a5 anyway. Okay, this move attacks e4 and a7. Not quite sure. Okay, e4 is not really threatened, maybe, because bishop c6 would attack the g2 pawn. But in the long run, I can try to um, to grab this pawn, rerouting this bishop, maybe to c2 or something, and then attack and win this pawn. He would need to play f5 or something to um, to protect it. And this bishop here is nicely positioned. It's uh, it's protected, cannot be attacked, and also covers all kinds of important um, um, parts of White's position. Okay, but now I, I, I'm reconsidering. I can take because bishop c6, queen e3, bishop g2. I have rook g1 and attack g7. Okay, it's somewhat messy, of course, but a pawn is a pawn. And g7, well, it's not clear whose king is uh, worse here, but I can, I can, I think easily go to d2, it's no issue. Check. Should be, should be pretty safe here. I've got lots of pieces around the king and he doesn't have anything to attack it. Yeah, maybe just this, this one, idea rook g8, looks um, difficult for black. Okay, rook g8 now. Okay, we can always go to to d7. Maybe I should prepare f5 also, opening the position more. Yeah, this is hanging now on a3. Is this a problem? Hmm, not sure. Check. Okay, I'll do this first. Check. Time hmm. warning. Yeah, I don't have so much time, but he's even um, more down on the clock. He can take here, but it's it's just a check end, and this should check. should give uh, serious threats now. Yeah, now I have queen d3. If he yeah. um, takes here, yeah, it's queen d8 mate. Black forfeits on time. Yeah, he forfeited on Check time, but mate. this is this is mate now. Okay, yeah, strange transposition transposition into a French structure. Okay, let's see what's uh, coming up next. This uh, still netted about eighty Game rating points. Started. Okay, Morve two. I, I've got white again. This is unusual. <laughs> Three whites in a row. Oh, this looks like a mouse slip. Hmm. Yeah, taking. I could. I could. I could take. Just on f six. But. Um, yeah, let's just simply retreat here. And now, I'm I'm a pawn up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just f3 and uh, preparing long castle. Yeah. 
it's just a pawn for nothing. And I can um, try to win space here soon. Um, okay, maybe g3, bishop h3, this looks like a desirable exchange to get rid of the light squared bishops. Okay, let's grab here. And now, hmm, now what, f4 maybe even? Okay, I need to be cautious. These kind of moves might even open up his bishop. So maybe first some more preparation of this move. F1. He really doesn't have any active possibilities. Okay. Uh, but now I'm, of course, tempted to even open the queen side up. I'm not sure what, what the idea behind this. I can just go to, to b3 now and have a huge advantage on, on the queen side as, as well. Okay, I could even just play c3 here. Yeah, why not? And now c5. C4 immediately would also have been good, I think. Yeah, this was to be expected. At some point he needed to, to do something, Check. even if it's not really helpful. But uh, you cannot um, well wait until White executes. Okay, what now? I could I could bring this knight to e4 would be nice positionally, or open it up with f4. I think opening it opening it up should be right. After all, he's got a not too secure king. I need to be yeah. This is uh, sort of the last idea that uh, White has in this position, trying to to get in a check here. Okay. Time warning. This is actually somewhat annoying. I'm down to 40 seconds, so of course I'm not uh, too enthusiastic about rook a1, but I needed to get in a move relatively quickly. Queen e4, I have queen d3. It's not so problematic. B2 is hanging, but this doesn't matter so much. I wanted to cover this. just plays on time as usual people don't really want to play good moves <clears throat> yeah it's of course problematic because of the time I just gave away this pawn I'm still better in this end game Just a question if I manage the time. Well, better it was an understatement. White is just winning. Check. But uh, time is the issue. <laughs> Check. Check. I secured the draw. draw. The draw here. Yeah, I was just a bit slow. This was, uh, yeah, well, maybe I should have tried to win it somehow. But I was Check. glad to, to get the draw. 
just because of the time. Yeah, king e5 now, obviously. This is better. Why didn't I do this? No idea. <laughs> well, after this uh, knight d3, b4 just nets the pawn. Okay, let's go for the next game and try game to play started. somewhat quicker. Okay, 1e4. Let's go for Sicilian here. Okay, I've got the Khan variation. And um, trying to make use of this bishop. Sometimes black even can, can launch some funny stuff like this, h5, knight g4. I'll try this, maybe not 100% uh, correct, but <laughs> it's um, it leads to interesting play. I think he can uh, of course go h3 but this doesn't really involve a threat then because taking hg is always a check okay can I play b5 bishop b7 keep my king in the middle for for longer yeah well he sometimes white just lashes out with knight d5 yeah if I play bishop b7 he will play knight d5 <laughs> Funny. Okay, maybe get the king out of the e file. Of course, this is uh, dubious for black. <laughs> no need to be uh, um, overly optimistic here. Black is uh, gambling here. Okay, maybe knight to to f five. Can I get this knight to f five? I was more expecting bishop e4, move like this. Okay, but um, let's see what happens here. At least I've got nice bishops. Ah, okay, this was the idea. I didn't, didn't really appreciate that. Ah, okay. Cannot move the knight now, I'm going to pin. Okay, let's cover this and maybe go king g8 next. Very, very complicated position. Most likely, it's it's bad for me. F five. Okay, can you can play F five now? Maybe F five. Hmm, would have been interesting. Let's see what happens now. He just takes it. Okay. Yeah, this way he also blocks this this bishop. Certainly um, a useful idea. Maybe I can play just King G7 and get a more more normal position, so to say. Trying to get the rook also back into into play. can also drop back the knight. Yeah, okay, this is not threatening at the moment. So, I can I can wait a bit with retreating. Okay, now I need to Okay, okay, h5 is also hanging. So the question is Time warning. Uh, maybe Drop H five. Check. I was hoping um, that I could open the bishops here now. If he takes with the knight, at least. If he takes with the bishop. Well, I've, at least I've got two bishops now. Actively placed. Rook h3 is sometimes an, an, a trick, a tricking idea here. But I need, to, if possible, both rooks. Ah, just knight g8, silly. Or this one. Check. Ah, 
Double, Double Check. <lacht> uh, okay. Yeah, you can just give the check here and then take the queen and it's over. Okay, didn't do this. What what is this? I'm still I'm still losing him. Yeah. yeah, I'm a rook down, but this has no square, so um he yeah, he needed to sack this. Yeah, I'm just playing on a couple of moves, Check. but uh, it's of course to totally lost. Check. Check. Oh. No, Check. it's not not so clear cut. Check. 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 Checkmate. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> okay, I guess uh, not solid enough this position. Of course, I've landed, but uh, all in all, this uh, didn't look too solid. All right. game against Retty but he's playing e4 yeah the Sicilian didn't really really work out last time hmm. yeah well it's a three minute game <laughs> cannot think all day let's play uh, e5 what I always play okay and now this cool counter gambit let's see how it is doing in three minute stuff against the field master I usually uh, tested. Um, I, I just tested this in in war, war zone type tournaments, and it worked out pretty well there. Okay, I'm attacking the five knight. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, I want to get the pawn back, of course, at some point. Maybe he could. Yeah, he could try this move. Securing uh, the pawn, maybe this is um, a good idea. Okay, let's let's attack this straight away. And now he would most likely continue bishop h3. Yeah, if I if I go there, but uh, not much choice. I think. Yeah, pretty unique position. I think bishop h3 now he needs to protect this pawn if he just uh, lets me retake it I'm just clearly better okay he could he could go c4 maybe first yeah okay he needs to he needs to protect and now what queen f7 maybe I, I really want this back <laughs> It's not just a matter of a pawn, but um, I need to, I need this, this square also to develop my pieces properly. say g6 I just have queen f6 this doesn't really look too threatening uh, just on the contrary maybe c4 not quite sure I think 
yeah okay he tries to attack e4 maybe I take here takes takes and then knight something knight somewhere hmm. I can go king d7 now and try to play a quick rook e8 ah oh, this move mm -hmm. attacks here okay the king should be quite okay there so what now it's not really threatening anything question is what what to do with this bishop also i could also just take and play d5 d5 bishop d6 not bad okay let's do this yeah it should just be okay for me Okay, what now? E3 maybe opening up the E file, yeah. If he takes a rook e8, looks dangerous. Okay, maybe he can take, but I'll first protect this pawn. This should really irritate him. Hard to suggest a move. Um, maybe just uh, threatening to take on f4, almost close, close to to this threat at least. Time warning. Okay, okay. He threatens there, and I don't have a direct mate or something. So let's just retake it. Now maybe e2 coming. E2. Would go to need need to go to g1 now after e2, but okay, it's uh, this will decide it by time. Okay, managed long castles, but I can go e2 here. Yeah. Check, and uh, this hangs Check. as well. Check. Right. Check. This will lead to mate. Check. Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah. It just has queen d1 and queen takes d1 checkmate. Yeah. This opening uh, again proved that it's uh, <laughs> at least tricky for white. The crazy f5 line. Okay. One more game. Game started. With white, uh, let's ge go e4 again. Oh, it's pretty high rated, 2300 something. And uh, he's from Puerto Rico. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, the fun thing is here on ICC, it's, it's different. Uh, if you know Chess Cube, uh, you've got people um, giving uh, wrong countries all the time. So um, you get, I don't know, uh, the US Virgin Islands or whatever the Christmas Islands and um, in fact they're all playing from I don't know the UK or, or the US or something because you can just uh, choose your country or your country flag um, yeah to, to your liking it uh, there's no proof or something behind this and uh, on um, as you see it's different they actually determine the flag from your uh, from your internet connection so um, as long as I'm playing from, from Germany, I always have the German flag here. Um, if I travel to another country, I will get the flag of, uh, of the country that I'm playing from. So um, yeah, I'll be on vacation starting uh, tomorrow. And if I play on ICC from, from my, um, yeah, from, uh, my place um, where I'm staying in my vacation, uh, I'll get another flag. Okay, um, he's attacking b2. We've got some knight off here. And I'm really not sure what uh, what the theory is. Maybe I already did something wrong. 
Okay, I really can't stand the night there for a long, long time. But um, it looks somewhat annoying already. Didn't like to <coughs> surrender the bishop pair, of course. Not sure where to go. Maybe he can even um, get in a quick d5 now. Open it up for for the bishops. Hmm. Yeah, something went wrong there, but okay. I'm not uh, a huge expert on the open decillion, of course. Maybe prevent b5 for the time being. This would have been a possibility also on the last move. Rook c8 um, is fine, of course, but. Let's drop this back. The knight isn't doing anything on uh, b3 anyway. So now maybe knight g4 is threatened. I can prevent this for the time being. So now maybe here. Trying to... Uh, get the d5 square <sighs> yeah black is uh, most likely uh, completely okay here Yes, it's d5 ideas anyway. Would love to play knight c4, b6, d5, but on knight c4 he has the idea of taking on e4 all the time. Time warning. Maybe this now. Knight, uh, bishop e4 and knight b6. He could play this as a sac, of course, as a sacrifice. But if he doesn't, I'll I'll have a great position. Ah, okay, this move is also possible. Knight d5. Or take here knight b6. Queen takes. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, not what move you want to make. Yeah, of course, my knight is completely helpless. This went downhill quickly. I, d I wasn't so bad, I think, at first. Yeah, okay, 10 seconds. I can just resign this. White resigns. It's hard to... But this, I'm not sure. Uh, there should be some way to, to get a decent position here. Um, somehow, at least... Um, yeah, ridiculous. I can just take on c4 now. And now not taking here, but just knight c3. After this, I don't have any problems. Yeah, the computer gives a quite big advantage to black, but uh, this I don't simply don't believe. Um, knight c3, rook b4, rook a2, rook c8, and then rook yeah, but uh, this is playable. I might lose a pawn on the queen side, but I'll get this knight on d5, and I can always fight this. Okay, it's maybe okay for black, or better for black, but uh, this would have been better than the game, of course. Okay, next game. Game started. 
Right, e4. Okay, let's let's uh, change a bit here. And uh, let's see what happens here in this French. Okay, I try to I try a funny move here, h6. The idea will be revealed later. <laughs> Black is uh, waiting for one move. And uh, tries to um, yeah get this kind of position here and now h6 really uh, serves a purpose white usually castles now hmm, what else is there <laughs> yeah now g5 white has other moves maybe a3 or something but this was the idea, playing uh, playing g5 in this structure. The idea is um, to put pressure on the d4 point. So maybe simply advancing g4 and then grabbing the pawn. Okay, now black uh, has uh, a choice. I can uh, recapture in multiple ways and I can also go g4 first. I think I'll, I'll grab this pawn. Another point of h6 g5 is that in this kind of position I could also go bishop g7. There's a similar line with bishop on e7, but um, in comparison, um, the advantage here is that I have this bishop g7 move. Hmm, bishop c2. Hmm. Can I grab c5? Come on, I'm cheeky, I'm grabbing this as well. This is not really solid for black, <laughs> but uh, okay, come on. Maybe I should have dropped back to b6 like I planned initially. Yeah, just because uh, because of this this move. Hmm. Yeah, dangerous, of course. Ooh, oh, I completely overlooked that he can take here. Wow, mm, this can get this can get really ugly. <laughs> this can get ugly. Mm. Ooh, what ooh, what kind of moves do I even have that I can play? Hmm. Yeah, of course, uh, white just has a super strong attack for almost nothing. Maybe I can um, get the king into safety at least. King moves, bishop d7, rook f7, castles. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this is uh, not an immediate loss. Wouldn't be surprised though if there, if there would be one. <laughs> One uh, devastating move. One point is rook f7 castles, rook e7. I've got rook f1 mate. So on rook f7, I can I can castle and not lose something immediately. But from yeah, it's uh, it's equal material. Funny enough. But uh, well, he can he can also just just take h6. But um, okay, I'm just noticing um, that he's really down on the clock. So um, this is uh, will be the real, the real decider here. 
didn't pay much attention to the clock before it's down on three seconds <laughs> so um, unless I'm blundering to to a mate here I will win on time white forfeits on time yeah I guess uh, this was a bit too complicated for for both players <laughs> But okay, you shouldn't really overstep the time after 20 moves. Okay, next one. Well, we are on 40 minutes now in this video. I think I'll play one more game to have a, a video of close to 45 minutes. And um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I've <coughs> got a slight cold here. Game started. Okay, um, I played a couple of e4s here. Yeah. Okay, let's go d4 for the last game. Okay, some sort of Benoni. Check. Yeah, he needs to go with an f knight here. Other moves lose to e5. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, attack here with f5, bishop h6. Okay, he immediately goes e6, tries to prevent this. Okay, maybe I can I can capture here. And play this move. Attacking the knight, also attacking both pawns. So yeah, I think he needed to take. And now e7 is a weakness. I can I can go c4 to. Okay, let's let's check this quickly. C4 is not always uh, a desirable move here. This also might be a good uh, post uh, for a piece at one point. But okay, uh, I think I need uh, secure protection of the d5 pawn. Um, maybe knight f6, rook to e7. Now uh, this is his idea, most likely. Okay, I'll, I'll take one rook off here. Check. prevent some annoying checks here on g4 yeah but I thought I can just take a knight h4 this just wins yeah. f5 and this is really just a check not much more The knight actually doesn't have any any square to go to. Everything's protected, and um, yeah, can just take here. And now the knight is hanging, and Check. this is hanging also. Black forfeits due to disconnection. Uh huh. Yeah, the poor man's way of resigning is disconnecting. Yeah, he disconnected and uh, the. And resigned this way yeah I think uh, some some quick maybe some interesting games uh, in a three-minute format here on ICC yeah thanks for watching and uh, yeah well I'm I will be on vacation starting tomorrow for um, for nine days yeah and um, I'm not quite sure um, how good my internet connection will be uh, at the place uh, I will be staying, I think it it might be okay. So um, maybe I can I can do a quick video here and there, or just say <laughs> a quick hello <laughs> via video. But uh, I'm not sure if I will do uh, manage to to make some yeah normal full scale updates, for instance, um, for the opening series. But uh, I'll try. Yeah, thanks for watching and um, talk to you soon. I guess.